Hey everyone, I'm Nog, and welcome back to Factorio, episode number two, where we have set up a bit of uh, iron uh, plate smelting, or iron ore smelting up here, turning it into iron plate. And we are a little bit worried about the biters up here. We can see the pollution has already reached them, and it's already reaching the guys over here as well. So that's not great, so we need to get some turrets up to defend ourselves a little bit so they don't come and destroy everything which they already did a little bit down here where they destroyed some uh, burner miners and basically killed our coal production. It wasn't a disaster but it was annoying. So we're almost done with turrets and I don't think we have any more uh, uh, science packs in the lab. No we do not. But we have 10 on us uh, right here which we will shove in the lab and get turrets done there we go and let's get started on some lights because as i think i mentioned it gets very very dark in factorio at night and uh, basically you won't be able to see anything so uh, let's get some lights to fix that problem pick up some resources here while we are uh, running around and let's see if we can build a couple of turrets and some ammo for them. Because we are definitely going to need, need it, that's for sure. So we have our iron smelting going. Uh, we want to get some copper smelting going as well. Actually, I think what I want to do first, before we do any of that, oh, we need some more belts. Let's get the belts before the uh, the ammo here, and we will just pull it out a little bit further, and we will set up uh, two of our, or the, actually the two assemblers that we have, and get them started on some. Uh, ammo because we are going to need a lot of ammo and let's make some more damn it attacking us again and that's our iron ore uh, oops. more coming where are they stop it stop eating our stuff Uh oh, now they're eating me. This is not good. Stop it. All right, are there more? Yes, there are. Oh, there are a lot more. Damn. I'm not gonna survive this. Run, run, forest. Nope. Well, first death came fast. This is bad. We have respawned and we have 10 ammo, which is not great and no resources. We go. We need to kill these guys. Stop it! Stop them killing the expensive stuff first if we can. And we have no resources to make more ammo, which is not fantastic. So let's run up here and grab some and start making some more ammo. Where are they attacking us now? Over here. Whew, this was not a great start. Alright. That could have gone better. That could have gone better. <laughs> let's just put it mildly. Okay, we will just have to rebuild. Um, see, before I do anything, I need more iron. Um, I want to make a submachine gun because this pistol is just basically use useless. We would have done a lot better with a submachine gun. We need... Hmm. We need more iron plate because... 
we are basically not producing anything right now. Can we make some miners? We can. Uh, let's not make five. Let's just make three for now because we need other stuff as well. We need belt and a lot of it because they killed a lot of it. Uh, let's pick up this iron ore and stick it directly in the smelters. Um, just so they have some resources to work with. Just get some more. Again, where now? Ah, that's down there, copper. Did I get my turrets? No. I thought about turrets. Oh, they're in my uh, they're in my body. I need to go find my dead body and uh, pick myself up because I want all the stuff that I had on that. Where am I? Where did I die? Uh, wasn't it somewhere over here? No. Doesn't seem like it. Was it somewhere over here? Where did I die? I don't remember. Hmm. Where did I die? This is bad, guys. This is really bad. I know I died somewhere. I remember that distinctly. Uh, and my body should be here somewhere. Where do we have more dead biters that I might have died on? Or died to? I do not see my body anywhere. Am I blind? Guys, let me know if you see my body, because I could really use the stuff I had in it. Mm. Hmm. Okay. Well, for now, we will get these guys set up again. And we will get this going. Get this going. Am I, am I under here somewhere, maybe? I have no idea. All right, uh, we need some repair packs. If we can make them, we cannot, because we don't really have anything. Hmm. All right. Okay, so that gives us some iron. So we can make some more of those. Can we make a couple of turrets? Yes, we can. We need to make some uh, some power poles, and we don't have any tree because the tree or the wood was also on our dead body that has mysteriously disappeared somewhere. So let's just get some wood real quick to make some power poles. And we actually need copper for those, which we are not producing at the moment. So that isn't great, ah, but we have some. So let's get those going. And we have the line completed over there for the uh, what's it called for the iron ore we need to get this over here fixed as well and I think we, as far as I recall we did like this We're splitting it up so and then we can plant that down there and get power up again so now these guys are producing that's good 
and we want to protect them that's for damn sure put half our ammo in there and oh is that my body that is my body fantastic see yes all right so we're uh, a little bit better off now which is nice uh, let's get a turret down over here to protect these guys and give him half our ammo and then get some power going here there we have iron ore production again and we can just repair this piece of belt up here that's damaged it's not the most important thing to do but I like my stuff not to be damaged all right repair this stuff down here set up a couple of whoops Uh, miners here. Let's do three. Uh, ah, let's just do four. We're gonna need it anyway. Uh, then we want a turret out here to protect these guys. And you need some ammo. And we need some inserters there and a box and some power to power it all and we want to produce ammo because we are obviously going to need it and then we will just stretch the power out here and there we go we are producing ammo automatically our very first automation is going to be automation to defend ourselves a little bit better these biters are aggressive uh, I think I want to put down some more iron ore miners here uh, let's not do the last two because I want to get some copper going they killed my copper production as well so let's get a bit of that going and we will just start here and I think I think I want to go sideways with the copper so we'll start down here uh, like that we will move that there and oops get a copper line going out that way we need to make some more belts and I think I'll make two more uh, assemblers uh, to get started on a bit of automated uh, belt production because we're going to need so much belt and I really don't enjoy making it by hand <coughs> so there we go damn they've always already been down here and attacked this guy <coughs> he's gonna need some backup uh, so let's get another one and give him some ammo and go grab some ammo for ourselves there we already have 50 firearms created or 50 firearms magazines created which is awesome again we don't want the pistol which is basically useless I would love to get a radar up but that's gonna just gonna piss them off even more so I think we'll hold off on that for a bit we need some more iron on ourselves whoops Come on. oh they don't have any so just pick that up and stretch this out a little bit and run down here 
while all of this stuff is being made, we'll run down and uh, pull out the copper or line a little bit so that we get it out to where we want it to be and start our copper plate smelting. All right, we need an underground there and we need three of those. Splitters. Couldn't find the word. All right. And do we have our? Yes, we do have our two assemblers, which we're gonna set up like this. And we're gonna need one more chest. And we have some inserters. And. We'll do like that, stick a power pole in there and one out here and there so that it can actually reach. And we will want some iron gears and we will want some uh, transport belts. And the transport belts we want to go into our chest which will be made relatively soon. Just cancel that so we get our chest. <sighs> scary. It is pretty scary. Oops, like that. There we go. And we'll set up uh, limited to five stacks, which will be uh, 500 uh, transport belts. Let's get our undergroundies and our splitters on our toolbar. And get across here. Let's just remove these. They're going to be in the way at some point, so we might just as well just get rid of them. All right. And just so we get it at the right height. We'll run down here. And hmm, do I want to? I think, let me just check. We have plenty of space up that way. We have limited space down this way. So let's, uh, oops. Let's just actually run the copper here. And we will make two spaces in between and we need more underground belts so let's make those and we need more normal belts which we don't need to make ourselves anymore which is fantastic already 77 there 77 may sound like a lot but it it really isn't it really isn't. So I do like that. Hey, I don't want you on there. Like that. And like that. Uh, let's just keep it the same length for now. And get some smelters. And output that whoops this is wrong I didn't leave room for inserters which is stupid so let's do that straight away all right and there and we will need to remove that let's just run it over here for now So we get it going, <clears throat> and we want this to come down here, and I think what we'll do is we'll just reroute this a little bit, let's go this way, let's 
So let's see. Whoops. We want this to go here. Ah. There. And there. And then we want you to come in here like so underground or splitters there and there and um let's just do this and run this over here this was poor planning on my side but it's fine it's part of Factorio to put stuff down and pick it back up and put put it back down again. And that may not sound like a whole lot of fun, but uh, it actually is part of the fun. Uh, redesigning and reinventing your base is, uh, is basically what the most fun part of, of Factorio. Although it does get a lot more fun when you get robots I have to say I have to say we need more transport belt than this what? Oh. let's just set it up the way we want it like that like that and so we need to go this way upwards for a bit get under the coal line and Stick it in there. All right. Copper production. Check. Almost check. We need to just turn this around a bit. There we go. Check. We do want a lot more production of, on both of these, but for now we are going and uh, we are actually producing something. So that's nice. Some kind of production is better than no production. All right, let's see. Let's just make some more of these uh, furnaces because we are gonna need a lot of them. Uh, where do we have some ammo? Oh, we have it all down here. There, how much do you guys have left? Not enough. So there, we have a little bit more ammo, and let's um, run over here and get this turret a body as well, because I don't think one is going to cut it. It sure didn't seem like it from that last attack. All right. So we have a bit of defense, we have iron smelting going, we have copper smelting going, we've rebuilt almost everything we lost, uh, and uh, we've started the first bit of automation with uh, firearms magazines and some uh, transport belts. So a rough start, but uh, we are... We've made a little bit of progress, and uh, I have to say, after that massive attack in the beginning, uh, I'm pretty happy about that. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and see you in the next episode.